Hi, today I would like to show you how to use variant managers for your benefits. I prepared a very simple example where I will demonstrate the different variants. I actually have three different variants, just top resistor not fitted, bottom resistor not fitted, and different value for this resistor here, yeah? 560, 220. Also, this is not only one thing what you can do when you use Variant Manager. In case you want to print bombs or you want to generate bombs, then as you can see here is only R1 and R2 is fitted. R1, R2. If I change Variant Manager only R3 and R2 should be fitted. See, R2, R3. And now see, this is 220R resistor. And I will change it to this third variant. And it's changed to 560 automatically. What does this mean? This mean I can generate different bombs for different variants once I set up the schematic and the variants correctly. Also, when you print your schematic, you can uh, select what variant you want to print. And when you print the schematic, you see it prints the schematic for the variant do not fit R1. I can change it. Do not fit R3. Now, how you can do it? I will close this project. I will open completely new one. Now, I'll add the resistors. Annotate schematic. Now I have basic schematic and I'm going to create the variants. First I will create the variants. switch to this variant and this is important click here now you have this icon here and you I usually use just do not fit switch to different variant okay to different variant or 
are 500 yards now this this wasn't so difficult was it? there are some other settings what you can uh, what you can use when you go to variant manager and it's here but I don't use it you can use this or put the text or modify the value I just uh, I'm quite happy if it's a uh, gray color and I rewrite the value by do not fit and that's it as you can see here once you use the variant manager you can also use it for PCB thank you for watching if you have any question uh, you can you can drop me an email or leave a comment on my blog